So the first thing that I want to start with is my pencil bag. This is what I keep all of my pencils and stuff in or things that I'm going to need. It's like, remember when you were a little kid and you had that box of stuff, that little plastic box and you kept all your crayons and stuff in there? This is like my adult version of that. And as you can see, I have a lot of stuff in there. So let's start off with the bag. Um, this is a bag that J1 gave me my first day of college and I had a different bag, a more Americanized bag, but um, I had made a comment to him saying, oh, I really like your bag. And he decided that he was gonna give it to me and he stuck it in my bag <laughs> when I wasn't looking. So when I went to pull out my pencil bag, this was in there instead and he like left me a little note. It was really cute. Um, this is made by Morning Glory and it has a little like tag on here. Apparently Morning Glory is like a really good um, Korean school supply company. They make fairly cheap supplies while um, making good quality things. I've had this bag for three years and um, it's still hol uh, holding up just fine. Nothing bad has happened to it at all. So it has a little tag on here. I looked everywhere for the same bag to put it in the links um, for you guys, but I couldn't find it. And I'm, I'm sure that nobody else could probably find it either because it's older. I don't know how long he had it before I had it, but like I said, I've had it for three years. So it has a little tag on here and it says, only you can make the world seem right. Only you can make the darkness bright. And then it says morning glory. And it says that on both sides of the tag. So let's get into what's actually in here. Actually, I think I'll just dump it all out. <laughs> okay so I'll just leave that there so the first thing oh <laughs> the first thing that you're gonna want as a college student is a mini stapler now J1 also gave me this stapler and it cut he gave me the little staple backups in it but these take a really small size staple so I can only find them online um, I could not find this exact same stapler, but they make tons of mini staplers. You'll see them all over the school supply section. And so this is a must because there will be no stapler provided for you when you're in college. And a little word of advice, don't let people know that you have a mini stapler or you will become the go-to staple person. Everybody will try to mooch your staples off of you. So you're going to need this, but do it in secret so people don't mooch off of you unless you want to be that person who shares staples with everybody. So yeah, this is totally one of the number one things that you need to have as a college student. And they are really easy to find. You can find them online. You can find them... Um, anywhere where school supplies are, are sold and since this is late September all the school supply stuff should be on clearance so this is the best time to shop for school supplies if you're you know wanting to do it for cheap or whatever is because they are all marked down and on clearance because all the kids have gone back to school yet but us college people don't start until later in September so that's always a plus all right and the next thing that I want to show you guys is this. This is a ruler and um, it folds in half. That's basically like the big thing about this ruler. I got this at Target on clearance last year in like late September, early October. Um, I know they sell other ones online. I have one in the links for you guys, but this is awesome because it fits into my pencil bag. And if I need a ruler, I have it. Cause I hated when I was younger and we had to have rulers that was on our supply list, right? And you had to like stick it sideways in your binder like that and then it would always stick out the top. So I like that this one folds because it fits into my pencil bag and it doesn't become a problem and if I need it, I need it. But most of the time I don't use it very often, but I have used it so I keep it in there. Alright, these things are... These are the next thing that I want to show you. These are little mini... I don't know what these are called. They're little clips, you know what I mean? They're little teeny tiny little teeny tiny clips. And the reason I have these is because a lot of professors do not want you to staple your papers. They will make you write an MLA. So what you do is on the left side of your paper, you have your name, right? And it's all like, oh, first name, last name, like date, period, whatever, whatever. And then on the right side, they'll have you put your last name and then number one, number two, number three, whatever number of page that you're on. And some professors like you to put your papers in this 
because um, they'll just take it off and then I don't know what they do with it. But they, some of them require them. So I got these really teeny tiny ones. I think I got these at my student store. But again, you can find these at any office supply place. And I just carry the tiny ones because they take up less space in my bag. And I have a few of them in here, but yeah. So the next thing that I want to show you is this little teeny tiny mini pair of scissors. Now I looked all over the internet for you guys to try and find a pair of scissors like this for you guys, but I couldn't find one um, that was exactly the same. I did put some links in there that were similar to this one, so hopefully this will help you guys find a pair that's suitable for you. I got these at Cost Plus, I think, and they were 99 cents. They were really cheap, and even though they don't <laughs> cut very straight because they're super little, um, they work just fine for me, and I use them a lot, so they're important, I feel. The next thing I have is this little X-Acto knife. Uh, what's it called? The Ofla Touch Kit Knife, I think it's called. I have this in the links, too. Um, this is, like, something that I got from my student store. It cost me a dollar and 95 cents, and this has been really good, too, when you need to, like, cut something out or you know, open something and you don't want to ruin it. I have actually used this a lot and I'll probably have to buy more because I've had it for a while and the blade's probably going to get pretty dull, but you just push it and then you're, there's your little X-Acto knife. Um, this is pretty sharp, so don't cut yourself with it, but you guys are supposed to be college students, so hopefully you'll know how not to do that by now. So the other thing that I have for you is a flash drive. This is a 16 gigabyte flash drive. You don't really need one that big unless you're like a film or a design student. I'm a film student, so this was the biggest one that they had when I bought it. And of course now they've gone up in size. Uh, but I bought this when I was like a sophomore in college or a freshman in college, so a few years ago. And um, this is invaluable to me. This helps me so much if I need to do a project and it needs to go on the projector. I just put it on here. So you want to have one of these. The size is up to you. They come in all sorts of different prices. I did find this one and it is in the links below. But what I've done on the other side is I took a label maker. I don't know if you can see that because it's kind of faded. I should replace it. And I, I took a label maker and I just put my phone number on the back. So if I lose this or leave this in somebody's computer, they'll call the phone number on the back and they'll be like, hey, I have your flash drive. Luckily, I've never lost it, but I know that the lost and found at my community college was full of flash drives and if you lost it you had to dig through all these flash drives because my friend lost his and he had to dig through it and it was it was a pain so yeah put your phone number on the back i used a label maker because i feel like sharpie rubs off but apparently the label maker kind of wears off too okay so i also just have like a sharpie in here but this is a knockoff sharpie this is a bic sharp sharpie I got a pack of these at the Dollar Tree a couple of years ago and I still haven't used them all up. So I just keep one of these in here in case I need it because, you know, sometimes you need to have your name on things that are permanent. So yeah, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, doesn't have to be black, you know, just I suggest that you keep a Sharpie in there for when you need it. So these are like my pride and joy of my pencil pouch and they're actually old you can see that I've used them a lot so they don't like click closed all the way but these are called the uh, Frick ball friction by pilot pens and the cool thing about these if you haven't seen them already is these are erasable pens but they erase from the friction on the little rubber tip here so if you write with these and like let it dry for a little while like don't immediately wipe it or it's gonna smear this will erase it with the friction. And unlike traditional erasable pens, this never gets worn out. I've had these for two, three years and they're not worn out. And I have them in red, blue, and black. Um, they might make other colors now, but these are the ones that were available to me when I bought them. I thought they were amazing. And so I keep them in there because sometimes your teacher makes you write in pen or whatever. Like you always are gonna need a pen or some teachers make you correct stuff, so you need a red pen. I don't use this pen as much as I should, but that's because my Korean friends won't let me use this pen because, as some of you may know, it's like bad luck to write somebody's name in red pen, so they really don't like me to use the red pen. But I have had teachers make me like correct my own tests and stuff, and they make you use a red pen, so it's good to have one. So I just stick these in my pencil case like this, 
going like the other way, like, you know, head to toe. That way they fit in there better and they're not like bulky, but I keep these in there too. And then what's really cool is the same company makes the friction highlighters. So I have like pretty much every color of highlighter. I think they have come out with purple now, but these are all the ones that I've um, had so far that I could find like the colors. And I have a link for these again in the bottom. Um, I think sometimes you can find them in variety packs, but I've had to buy mine pretty much individually. But anyway, they work exactly like the pens do. They're highlighters, but they're erasable, and they erase with the friction point here that's not like an eraser, so it's not going to get worn down. Like with the pens, you're going to need to wait for these to dry a little bit before you erase them, or they will not erase as well. But these have been awesome for me. So I keep these in here as well, because there have been so many times where I've had a project where they're like, color in the, like in biology, they wanted us to color in like a cell or whatever, and we had to use all these different colors, and I was really happy that I had all these different colors to use. So I think these are a must. They're a little expensive, these erasable pens and highlighters, but you're gonna use them a lot, and they're gonna be really valuable to you, so I feel like they're worth spending the money. And then I have a couple of like backup pencils and stuff. I keep most of my pencils in this little side pocket in my backpack because it's easier to access than like getting my pencil pouch out. But um, yeah, I have a couple of backup pencils. I would say if you're in college, use nothing but mechanical pencils because there are no sharpeners in the classroom. Unless you want to haul around your own sharpener, um, use mechanical pencils because they're just easier to you know, have around, and they are less fuss than having to sharpen your pencil. You know, if you have more mechanical pencils, you can just pull another one out, and if you need to, you can just replace the lead. You don't have to, like, get up and sharpen the pencil really awkwardly like you did when you are in high school or whatever. So if you're gonna have, ba like, backup pencils, you're gonna need, of course, lead. Now, this lead, I can't remember where I got this, I probably got it from like a friend or something, but I carry two different sizes of lead because I have two different sizes of pencils that are normally floating around in my backpack, so I have 0.9 and then 0.5. Um, I get this really cute little lead with this little bunny rabbit on it or whatever. I got this at the H Mart where I live, which is like a Korean store, they, they're like a Korean supermarket, but sometimes they sell like school supplies, and I got like three of these for a dollar, it was really awesome, so if you have like any sort of Asian supermarket where you live, definitely check them out and see if they have any sorts of like, any sort of Asian um, school supplies or whatever, because they're a lot cheaper than American ones, so I keep those in there too. And then this is another thing that I find is really awesome. And I found this online and I put it in the links for you guys. This is a little teeny tiny tape dispenser. Super tiny. Fits in there. It comes with, I think, three or four extra um, little tape things. They're not really colored, so when you put them on, you're not really going to see the color, so don't worry about that. But this has been awesome if I need tape for something because, like I said, there's no staplers, there's no tape, there's no pencil sharpeners. Everything that you need, you're going to have to provide for yourself in college unless you go to a really groovy college that provides all that stuff for you, but mine hasn't. So I picked this up at my student store, but I found them online, and they're in the link below if you guys want one of these too. So yeah, that's pretty much everything that's in my pencil bag. And as you can see, it all zips up in here really nicely and I don't have to worry about um, not having anything or overstuffing it. It's all been really thought out and put in this little teeny tiny pencil bag. Um, I carry a pencil bag because I feel like if you carry the one in your binder, like the ones that go in the binder holes, it'll bend your binder. So I carry a separate pencil bag um, with me. And I have links to different pencil bags. Like I said, I couldn't find this one, but I have links to pretty much everything that's in here in the description below. If you guys have any questions, you can ask me, but yeah. So if you're interested in finding things that are like this or similar to this, just check the links below and you should be able to find everything. So that's our first installment was the pencil case, and I will see you guys back here for the next installment. Bye! Oh, bye! <laughs>